This is a completely unique Spanish globe. Uh, it comes from the Whipple Museum of the History of Science at Cambridge University. When you first approach this globe, it looks like an ordinary globe. But you lift the lid and inside there's a planetarium, an encyclopedia, beautiful printed illustrations uh, and explanatory text. If you turn the brass knob above the sun, according to the instructions printed inside the globe in Spanish, the Earth will revolve around it on its two little wooden gears, and the Earth turns on its own axis. But this is not a precision planetarium. In fact, the Earth only turns on its own axis once a year. Uh, it seems likely that all of this was made as a prototype, a toy or educational tool uh, in early 20th century Spain, but was probably never mass produced, and its manufacturer has completely disappeared from any records. And if we think about Spain's modernization at the start of the 20th century, it's important to understand that there were strong trends and currents towards uh, educational reform, uh, in which teachers would no longer be standing at the front of the classroom lecturing to children who were passively learning, but instead there would be a much more active learning environment. And this globe represents that. We sometimes think of museum objects as being perfect samples in mint condition, but in fact often objects can tell us a lot more when they're damaged or, or have been used in some way. And we have a great example here because uh, a child has obviously written on one of the planets inside the globe. One of the planets bears the word in pen solo, uh, which of course means only or alone in Spanish. But uh, I think possibly the child had intended to write sol or sun, thinking that one of the planets could be used to represent the sun. Our recent research into this globe has allowed us to piece together Spain's transition into the modern world. Uh, it involves industrial change, it involves educational reforms, it involves international trade and political upheaval on a grand scale. It's all symbolized by this unique globe. This globe has gone from being a prototype made near Valencia according to Central European models into a school or family. It's been collected, it's spent time in the US and it's now in a museum here in Britain. It's a fascinating journey and it has a lot to tell us about ourselves, our society and the way we view the world around us.